Scientists have worked out that we receive approximately 2 million bits of information through our senses every second of the day. We consciously only process a small amount of that information. Your mind filters this information into easier chunks of information. Here we see how all this information is constantly flowing through your nervous system via your senses of visual, auditory, kinesthetic, olfactory and gustatory or gustatory. So we're receiving 2 million bits of information a second through all these senses. Now we're constantly deleting information from our awareness. For instance, can you recall your last journey minute by minute? Probably not. You deleted most of what you were doing. We also distort. Now, when we distort something, we make it into something else. Like if you were to distort a photo on your computer, you make it into something very different. We can change an experience or the sequence of events of the experience we had. For example, when you think about this video later, you may remember it with a blue background with purple writing, or you may remember my voice being a different tone. That's distortion. In addition to those, we have generalization. We generalize much of the information we receive. This is when you might say something like, I always mess up when I do that. It's a generalization. It's almost certain that you have done it once without messing up. On top of that, we have other filters. These are language, values, beliefs, attitudes, decisions. Values are very important. Values and beliefs are what we base our lives on. An example of a value is honesty. For you, honesty may be very high on your list of values. So you base your life around that value. The decisions you make, the friends you keep, the life you want to live, all will be based on this value. From filtering information through these, we inform an internal representation through pictures, sounds, smells, tastes and self-talk. For example, what do you think of Marmite? Perhaps you love it. Maybe you hate it. How did you represent it to yourself? Was it in picture form? Or perhaps you had a taste in your mouth? Did you say to yourself, yuck? Or maybe you could actually smell it for a second and thought, mmm. However you reacted, you made an internal representation to yourself. Even if you've never seen, smelt or tasted it, I can guarantee that your mind attempted to form a picture of what my might is, isn't it? After you made an internal representation, you put yourself into a state of mind. From here, your physiology may have changed. You may have screwed up your face. Your abdominal muscles may have tightened. Or your mouth may have started to water. This will then have a direct impact on your behavior, what you say and do, and your future experience. It's a fact that what affects the mind affects the body and vice versa. What if you could control, change, alter your filters so that you could achieve all the things you wanted to achieve? What would that be like for you? To be able to change any unhelpful behaviors that you have which prevent you from having the kind of future you want. What would that feel like? Well, you can. You can have the ability, you already have the ability and all the resources you need to succeed. Visit the website today and discover more.